we are challenging uh, the duration of hormonal therapy. Uh, it was known that, that hormonal therapy for a long term, 36 months, was beneficial for overall survival and prostate specific cancer survival. So uh, it has uh, health uh, effects that are uh, deleterious to our patients. It's uh, on long-term usage. So uh, we challenge the usage of uh, 18 months against 36 months. And we randomized 630 patients uh, for which we uh, looked at uh, their results and uh, the overall survival and prostate specific survival did not differ between groups. And this is after 9.4 years follow-up, 10.6 for the survivors. So uh, uh, there is though a difference in biochemical uh, recurrence-free survival and disease-free survival uh, between harms uh, favoring 36 months. However, uh, the way we look at it, we could not find any difference in overall survival so we did uh, a multivariate analysis and the only uh, variable that was related to survival was uh, age and uh, we also did a per protocol analysis. Still the age was the only variable related to survival. So uh, we then did a landmark study uh, uh, looking at the duration of hormonal, hormonal therapy given and looking at uh, results after 36 months, uh, taking off the patients that died within that 36 months. And then the only uh, variable that was related to survival again, to overall survival, was age and Gleason score. So we looked at it all other ways, looking at the sub uh, haddock analysis uh, for Gleason 8 to 10, and still there was no difference in overall or prostate specific survival for our patients. So we concluded that uh, 36 months was not superior to 18 months. However, 18 months is an alternative for those patients that are, doesn't support well the ADT uh, for long terms, meaning for 36 months. There was only two points that were statistically significant for 36 months, hot flushes and uh, Sex, uh, sexuality was uh, altered uh, si uh, significantly. Yeah, actually, uh, the consideration would be uh, the tolerance of the patients. So, uh, up to now, uh, we were giving uh, up to 24 to 36 months in high risk patients. Uh, now, uh, we've been incorporated, as per se, for, uh, by the NCCN guidelines into their recommendation. And uh, 18 months is part of that recommendation for those patients who tolerate well, uh, not well the ADD. So it's uh, an alternative which should be considered and we have to consider the cost of it also and all the uh, related health uh, care problems that could in, uh, be induced by ADD, especially uh, cardiac events.